So, and here's what I want to say. When you're listening, um, you know, there's different kinds of listening. There's hearing, right? There's just hearing what people are saying, but you're still in your own head. <laughs> Thinking, <laughs> processing, judging, thinking about dinner, whatever. And you're just, you're hearing people, and you're able to respond to them on a very superficial level, perhaps, right? But that's not really listening. And the more that you can listen with your whole being, which is really presence, right? Because that's what we all crave. We all just want to be heard. I overuse always say, we all just want to be heard, right? But we want people to acknowledge us, and they acknowledge us with their presence, right? So giving my full attention to you, right? And listening with my eyes and my gut, and I'm hearing what you're saying and what you're not saying, and getting a sense of your feelings so that, you know, I can maybe address something that, you're saying one thing, but I think you might be feeling something else. That's listening. That's not just hearing. So, you know, again, the more you, first of all, that's a gift that you give to the other person, right? And that's leadership, especially when you're in a position of authority or you're managing people. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. And the only way that you can see and hear anyone is to be present, right? So doing all these things that we talked about and managing your own time and energy and being present with yourself allows you to be present with other people. And it also allows you, we'll, get, we'll talk about boundaries and stuff, but if you can't be present with them at that moment, you can let them know. And you'd be like, I really want to talk to you about this, but I'm doing X, Y, Z, or I'll be in a much better place to talk to you tomorrow or later in the afternoon or you know whatever it is. Because you know, and you can say, I really want to be able to hear you, you know, to help you or listen to you or whatever it is, now's not a good time, you know, rather than faking it. Because that's not really, you know, that, that, that's half-assing it, you know, that's not really listening. That's just, yeah, I gotta check this off my list, I gotta deal with this person, da 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 you know, that's not nice as a human being, that's certainly not leadership, right? So, you know, again, doing all these things for yourself allows you to be more present for people, which means you can listen to them, right? And listening also, here's another thing to remember. Some people just need to talk, right? They just need to express themselves. They don't necessarily need you to fix their problem. You know, look, this way for a living is sort of my tendency, right? But sometimes, you know, I do recognize, you know what, this person just needs to talk. They just need to, and in their own talking, they're processing and they're releasing. And so being aware, having that kind of awareness is very beneficial, right? It's, that is also showing some leadership and some compassion, just holding space, as they say, for the other person. And just listening. So the fact that you're listening is actually doing something. It feels very passive, but it's actually active. Because when you're really, it's what we call active listening, when you're really present and really giving them the space to express themselves, to vent, whatever they need to do, that is active, right? If you're just hearing and you're in your head and you're not present and you're not in your body and you're thinking about your next appointment, not listening, certainly not active. So be, you know, again, as you go through your interactions, be, you know, be conscious of that. So 